If you have been to any science class in high school, you've probably encountered these before. Vernier calipers. They're incredible tools to get accurate measurements beyond a simple ruler. And it's all because of this, the Vernier scale. If you paid enough attention in science class, you should remember how to use it, because that's not the topic of this video. Instead, I'll discuss the principle it operates behind, asking the question why it works rather than how. Let's start by observing the scale where it measures zero. Zooming to the Vernier scale, you'd see that it's just shy of the first centimeter. Just short of one tenth of it, in fact. It goes up to zero for nine centimeters, but it still has ten divisions like the main scale. The first mark of the main scale measures 0.1 centimeters, while the Vernier scale's first mark has a length of 0.09. This mismatch creates a rhythm of offsets between the both divisions. Where the first marker of the Vernier scale lags behind by 0.01 centimeters, the second lags by 0.02, the third by 0.03, and this pattern continues. It's this pattern that gives the tool its accuracy. For any of the Vernier divisions to line up with the main scale, the scale would have to cover the distance between them, resulting in a visual indicator to measure in between the lines. And that's why the Vernier scale works.